What's up guys? Back again. It's Friday. It's a good day in the south. Nice temperatures, about 81 degrees. Very low humidity. Man, September. Told you. Now, there'll be some hot days in September, don't get me wrong. But man, this is perfect right now. Sun's shining, as I just showed you. Got that good old Carolina blue sky. Walk out here. Yeah. This is my S10 I've had since I was 16 years old. That's my 94 Impala SS. Need some tires for it, but it's a hot rod. It'll roll. Um, I built it. I'm in the process of building that one. Uh, it's going on about two years now. Work gets in the way, but doing a full LS swap off the frame, everything. It's, uh, I don't think there's a nut and bolt that hasn't been turned on it. But um, we'll get there. It ain't eating nothing sitting there. I, I keep the taxes paid on it, the insurance paid on it, just so it sits right there. But uh, yeah, it's, it's in pieces right now. But as you can see, that beautiful Carolina blue sky. There's a football game tonight. There goes Speedy Gonzalez, 25 mile an hour street. People go up through here like, like it's bad out of hell. And I'll tell you the ones that's worse about it. Yeah, I'll say it. Police, yeah, Clover police, man. They'll fly down this road and up this road, no lights, no sirens, no nothing going. And I have raised my hands at them. Like, what the hell are you doing? At least put a damn blue light or a siren on so people can fucking hear you coming. Pardon my French, but I'm one for speed as much as anybody. I love speed, man. I'm telling you, I grew up on speed. And uh, let me tell you, it was there. But you got to know, there's 25 mile an hour zone. There's kids out here. Plenty of kids. And uh, can't be doing that kind of stuff. But let's get back to the program. Uh, we're going to hit some, get them uh, back in a, sprinkle a little bit of bicep work in there but uh it's game day like i said it's friday yeah yeah i said that already it's game day we're going on clover's playing northwestern should be a good game if clover shows up this week let's hope so because they sure as hell did not show up last week nope they got smacked in the mouth they got smacked hard right in the mouth they didn't know how to handle it. But this week, I think it's going to be different. We're playing a conference divisional opponent in Northwestern. Good team. Northwestern's always had a good team. They're out of Rock Hill. Um, Clover, they've, they've, they've got a good team too, but they just did not show up last week. I don't know if it was the change of schedule that got them because we were set to play York which is our rival. Um, but they had a COVID thing and they had to cancel. So they had to find a last minute replacement. And they went through about four or five different teams before they found one that they could stick with. And it was Myers Park and them boys from Charlotte come to play. They smacked them right in the mouth, like I said. But I think Clover will come out today, tonight, and uh, they'll do us good. They'll do us good tonight. I think it'll be a big win. I think they'll come out and show what the Blue Eagles are about. But we're going to get this back exercise going. And uh, like I say, I'll take you along for the ride. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, gals, going to get them shoulders. Uh, 
loosened up. Stretch that back out a little bit over here. Scoot that up a little bit. Just gonna do it like a straight arm. I guess like you're skiing. Hell, I don't know. I ain't never went skiing. Hell, I can't roller skate. But I think this is the way you'd ski. I'm not sure. But I'm just gonna get them lats fired. That. Yeah. Spread them out a little bit like that right there. Like I say, I like to take care of my shoulders, man. I do not want my shoulders hurting me. I lived most of my younger life, shoulder pain, killing me. Couldn't even go to sleep because I was just beating the crap out of them. And I finally got smart and uh, started doing it the right way. Started paying attention to my shoulders. And it made a hell of a difference. I'll go ahead and tell you. I'm gonna warm up my biceps a little bit, show you the guns. I'm just kidding. But my mama's maiden name is Gun, so it's in the family. We'll do it like that. Put that right there. Whoo! I got me a a bang energy drink when I left work today. Give me a little bit of boost, a little extra boost. And uh then I came home and shot the damn pre-workout with some whey protein. I'm a little jacked. Man, my heart ain't like going stupid crazy, but you know, anyway, but I, mean, I can feel it. And I feel good. I feel like I can lift this damn building off the freaking ground. But I know I can't. But anyway, hell, I'd like to be able to. That'd be cool as hell, wouldn't it? What'd you do today? I lifted the building off the fucking ground. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. I gotta learn how to bleep out stuff, I guess. I probably had to ask my daughter how to do that. If she knows how to do that, that'd be awesome if she does. That's probably something else I have to figure out. How to put a bleep in. Whenever I'm gonna say a potty word. Because, you know, I do want to make this my career. I want to be a YouTuber. Yeah, right. <clears throat> Seriously, doubt that's going to happen. But, who knows? Stranger things have happened. So I didn't put you in a time lapse this time. 
Did you notice that? I'm just doing some stretches. Just being a little silly today, I guess. Feel silly. You know. What can I say? Blame it on the bang. Blame it on the bang. Whew. Stay. Watch that thing. Watch that thing. It's going to be like, I'm going to come get you. Look at that. Maybe I do need to lift the building that way. I'm just kidding. Let's get one more little quick round of stretches. I'm going to go up a little bit more. All right, let's go big, big. Y'all too? Let's go real big. That's a 70 pound band. That's a thick boy. Thick, as my daughter would say. Thick, my 13 year old girl. She's a beast. She won't get out here with me. She's 12 years old. She was out here squatting 126, I think that's her best, and she did it for reps. Yeah, but she's doing volleyball right now. She don't want to come out here with her old man. I understand. Here she comes now, creeping out here. She might make an appearance. Who knows? She probably come here and ask me something. Yep. Watch this. See, here she comes. Don't ask me some stupid question, probably. Can I go to the library? Dude, it's five twenty. They closed. Oh wait, really? Yes. Oh. See, I told you she's gonna ask me something stupid. Is this beachy, or is the out, is the thing not beachy anymore? No, it's military theme. Today? This week, yeah. Football game is a military thing. They change it every week. It ain't beach every week. Uh, well. Crackhead. <clears throat> you ain't got no camo? You ain't got no camo? Well, there you go. Not hunting camo. Military camo. I don't either, so... I'm probably going to go sweaty and all kind of stuff. I thought you had a hoodie. Huh. Got too small for you. Hell, you ain't grow done. You ain't grow done. You still a little bitty. You won't get out here and pump iron. Too scared. I'm just kidding, folks. Pretty warmed up. No time lapse on that. This video will be like six hours long or something like that. <sighs> I'm just kidding. I ain't gonna make it six hours long. Hell, ain't nobody gonna watch it. But everything stretched and lubricated. You didn't think I was gonna say it, did you? There it is. Yep, that's more lubricated. Anyway, guys, let's uh let's get this back workout in. Let me think of my first movement, and uh, I'll get back with you. All right, y'all.
when you have a garage gym like I have here you got to invent ways to make things work you got to be creative um, this is how I set up for low rows seated cable rows uh, I'll use the v-bar sometimes I do a wide but I'm gonna go for a v-bar on this uh, but I use my, my rack for my feet placement uh, I'm calling these the Charles glass low rows low cable rows because I seen I've seen Charles glass train this this is how he trains low cable rows I try to mimic it as good as I can for a fat white guy but and I know it ain't pretty but I make it happen so I'm gonna do this I might not go extremely extremely heavy right now I got 90 pounds on there plus the sled plus whatever that chain weighs but it's all I'm saying 90 pounds to start out with um, I'm gonna pair it with on the floor easy bar uh, pullovers I am gonna go a little heavy on that I'm gonna try to anyway uh, right now I've got about 115 120 pounds on the bar on the bar and everything so I'm gonna try to do that with this that's why I'm gonna go a little lighter with this go heavier with that stretch that lat out with that really put the pump in the lat with this but I'm gonna show you this and then I'll put you in that famous time lapse and that makes everything famous and I when I do my pulls like this I usually use an open grip on stuff like this like lat pull downs things like that I'm not at risk for dropping the bar on my face that's why I don't use an open grip on my bench press or anything like that I don't feel like my clumsy self dropping the bar on my face that hurt but I'm gonna use like an open grip keep a bend in my knees and I'll kind of keep that forward flex There's 12 of those. You can definitely feel that. Now I'll just turn my little, my bench. Put it over yonder. Oh, and then get down here on the floor. Oh. Might as well take this off. I'm about to lose it. And there you have it. I'll give him a sexy pose. I'm just kidding. Uh, 
I know it ain't the prettiest thing in the world, but it's definitely, you can feel it all through your uh, lats, shoulders, everything. I use, I do that sometimes on my chest days too. And if I do it on my chest days, I will use a bench and get that full stretch, come back over with a press, and that's one rep all the way over back with press. But like today, I'm just focusing on lats. I'm just gonna pull right off the floor, get that short. It's a short stretch, but it's a good, it's a, it, you can definitely, it's tough, especially with the weight. Uh, but thanks for watching and I'll put you in time lapse and we'll get this done. I'm gonna do uh, lat pull downs with a supinated grip. I'm gonna kind of go a little bit wider, uh, hit that inside of the bicep, and uh, that full press, that full pull to the lats. And I'm gonna pair that with a back extension uh, with a slam ball. I'm gonna hold a slam ball and uh, do my back extensions. I'm gonna do three, three rounds of this we'll call it we'll do that and we'll do one more superset of something and we'll be done yay but anyway uh let's get to it no. well i'd get that lean and stay that way, not do the whole pulling thing. Let me get my grip right. Well, I lied. I will have to do a closed grip on this just because I got a little bit wider. Nice and controlled all the way through. Get an old slam ball here. I'm going to use the 15 first. And there you have it, fat boy out of breath. Nah, not really out of breath, but heart's definitely going. 132 for my heart rate right now. So. It's up there, but not too bad. But that's what we're gonna do. I got two more sets of this, or two more rounds. And uh, we'll be done with this and we'll move on. And uh, I'll put you in time lapse again.
All right, guys and gals, gonna do one more little we're around here. I'm gonna do a straight arm cable push down, lap push down. I call it a push down. I know it's a pull day, but it's still working the lats. Um, I'm gonna use my A bar with it, what I call A bar. If y'all remember, if y'all go back in the videos, um, I call this an A bar. Uh, I'm gonna use it with a closer grip. I know these, you typically want that wide grip to get that lat in there, but I've used the V bar for the load pulls. I used the straight bar for the wide lat pull downs. Now I wanna go with a narrower grip on that uh, straight arm. Uh, just, I don't know, it, it makes sense to me. Uh, I'm gonna pair that with a high band uh, curl. Uh, some people I think call them suicide curls. Um, it's when you just go straight to your head. I don't know. Um, uh, but I just call it a high band curl. Uh, I'm gonna pair those two together and we'll be done. We'll call it a wrap, but I'm going to take you through this first one, and then I'm going to put you back in time lapse again. So you want to get you a little bit of a lean forward, get you a good wipe, get you, get you a base, a good base stance. You don't be wiggling all over the place. You're going to pull that with your straight arms straight down to your belly. And then when you come back up, you want to be eye level. Don't let it rack again. That way you keep that tension on them lats. But just... Go now. I'm gonna pair that, like I said, with my high band curls. There we go, I got 20 each on that. I did 15 of those, so I did 20 of those each. And probably what I stick with, I'm gonna go up a little bit and wait on that. Um, but I'll take you for the ride, the last ride. guys that's it i'm done it's on to a football game go clover blue eagles we're gonna get this done tonight but uh that was a good workout liked it a lot of i did 
all you've seen, just cable work mostly. Uh, sprinkled in some bicep work. Uh, good stretch at the beginning. Uh, feel good. Uh, definitely feel the pump of my arms, my lats. Definitely firing. Uh, but on to bigger and better things. So I don't know if I'll post anything for a few days. I don't know for sure. I might do something Sunday. I'm not really sure. If I don't, I want to say very happy 13th anniversary to my wife, Lisa. Uh, we've been together for 14 years. Been married 13. We were married, uh, were married on September 6th, 2008. Love you very much. I know I give you hell. I know I'm a butthole sometimes, but I love you. And uh, I cherish everything that you do for us from the bottom of my heart. Without you, I couldn't get out here and work out. Uh, you take care of a lot of things for me. Uh, you help with my mom. Uh, you help with my dad. You do everything. So I'm a lucky man that probably is not deserving of such a wonderful wife. And like I said, I know that I give her hell. Uh, she doesn't give me any grief about going fishing. Uh, she doesn't, doesn't give me grief about coming out and working out. She doesn't give me grief about uh, working on my cars or anything. But uh, for all that you do, I am very grateful, gratefully appreciative, and I love you very much. And to all watching around the world, yeah, right, uh, God bless you all, and I hope all my laborers, like myself, have a very happy Labor Day weekend. You deserve it. Uh, take advantage of it, like I'm going to. And uh, appreciate every minute you got. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, give me some advice. You know, I'll take it all. Uh, I just appreciate you. And God bless again.